Hey, it's Karina here, and I am with Jenny Fletcher again, and today Jenny is going to show us how to set your bike up in transition for a triathlon and give us some tips on being efficient, which is very important because... <laughs> Every <laughs> second counts. Yeah. set up our little this is our fake transition area so I have a whole bag basically I pack my bag and then get everything ready the night before and I'm gonna just start showing you what I do when I set up for a transition when you set up your transition you're gonna come here you're gonna try and find the best you want to get there early if you want the best spot but what is the best spot <laughs> the best spot for me would be kind of at the end of the the bar where they're hanging so you you're the last one there, that means you can put your bike in and out. When you're in the middle, yeah. you come in, everyone's doing their stuff, and it can get a little bit, you know, stressful. Yeah. So I, I basically brought all my stuff to show you how to do fast transitions. There's a couple secrets that people want to know about. Generally, I have a towel, I don't have a towel with me, but you want to pick something because when you're, we talked about this, when you're running into transition and you're looking for your bike, you need something that gives you, besides there's a marker somewhere here and there, I usually use a bright towel that's green or Oakley gives like bright pink and stuff and lay it down. So usually your bike's hanging by the saddle so it's going to be upright and you're going to set all your stuff to the side. So you need two pairs of shoes generally because you're going to want your race pair and you want to set them up and you want to have a pair to warm up in or if the weather's bad you don't want to have just one pair. I'm going to set it up according to how it works. You set up your bike stuff first, closest to you. So you're gonna have your towel down. You're gonna have stuff on your feet when you come back. That's why a towel's good, you wipe your feet off. If you wanna just put your shoes on here, you have them facing you because that also, it's all about efficiency and speed. Mm -hmm. They have another thing that you can't race without and that is a race belt. A lot of times it depends on the race, you're gonna need the race belt on in the bike. So you're also going to have this because you don't wanna forget it rest in here with your number on it already fixed to the tightness of your body so that when you come in you just literally you're going to put it on yep. and make sure the number's in the back for the bike and in the run you're just going to flip it around to being in the front <laughs> make sure when you start before you start your race you stay warm i usually have on a hat my my jacket so the race is you're getting ready for the race you've set up your transition you've done your warm-up and you have so much, you have about 10, 15 minutes, you wanna start putting your, your wetsuit on. Don't forget your cap and goggles. I always carry a second pair of goggles, you never know. There's a trick to using a brand new pair of goggles for a race because they're not gonna fog up. So I always have a brand new pair of goggles and a spare in case anything happens, a spare cap in case anything happens, usually they have them there. Um, one of the most biggest tricks to getting a wetsuit off is where you can save so much time. And we use like a spray or body glide where you, you put it around your wrists and a bit of your hands. You put it all around your ankles and here and you wanna make sure you have body glide or spray around your neck because if you don't, you can get severe wetsuit. Rash or something? Yeah, yeah. It, it hurts. <laughs> you'll be halfway through the swim and you'll be like, okay, I don't wanna turn my head anymore. So this stuff is just, you spray it on and it, it, it will make your wetsuit slide off so easy. You want to unvelcro, pull one arm out. You're going to be running while you do this. Work on this arm, it's always harder. Pull it out. Get it down to here as fast as you can because while your wetsuit is wet, it comes off the fastest. The longer you run with it up here, you're going to be struggling to get it off your wrist. This is called visualization, but you're like taking the wetsuit off like this, one leg up, and you're gonna step on it, and you're gonna pull this foot out, and then you're gonna use your hands to get it over your ankle. And then the other one, you do the same. I'm just gonna go straight to the bike transition. First thing I wanna say really quickly, um, the aero helmet is probably one of your hugest things that can save you time at, when you're out there riding. I pick laser helmets, and I'm gonna tell you why. When you're trying to do a t fast transition, Laser actually divides their helmet to actually just like magnets snap. So, so when your hands are cold and you need to be quick, 
with thing. And then the other thing they do is they actually have the, you tighten it right on top of your helmet. One of the things I love about laser again is they have a water bottle place where you can actually spray when you're hot on a bike and you're trying to put water on top of your head to keep yeah. you cool. It actually has a, a vent where you can pour water to and it doesn't come into your eyes. I don't know how many times wow. I've been pouring water in. Anyway, yeah. I just like love their aero helmet. And this will save you so much time. You set it up here, you're gonna put your glasses in the aero helmet. So the fastest way to do is you take your glasses and then you take your aero helmet. You don't have your hair up high so you can actually put the aero helmet on. You have to have your aero helmet snapped before you can leave transition. So that's one of the fastest ways. If it's windy and you think it's gonna fall, just set it on the ground beside your thing, but have it this way so that you literally, this cuts off so much time. Right there. Is you put glasses and then your aero helmet. I'm like digging around in my shoes for my glasses and then the helmet like down so on the ground. So <laughs> yeah. I like that too. Generally I have that set up there. You put your bike shoe already on the pedal and then this is the trick that a lot of, if you want to make the fastest transition, you have your bike shoe on and what you're going to do is once it's on, you're going to put the elastic through the back. This side is going to go on here and you're going to put it on like this. And on the other side, there's a little spot where you can also do it. So what we're going to do is if I actually had that on and this on the other one, then once I get my, my, my glasses, my helmet, I actually just have to run my bike out and then I literally jump on. And you start pedaling a bit. Don't worry about getting your feet in right away. You get up to speed. And then when you have a time, you, you just reach down and you, you kind of grab the back and you slide your foot in and then you Velcro it. It takes a bit of practice, I, I would practice it. If you wanna just do it this way, you're gonna, you put your shoes on first if you're gonna do that first versus the helmet and glasses. Shoes on, you know, as fast as you can, Velcro, Velcro, glasses, helmet. And then you're off. One of the tricks that a lot of us do and, um, Obviously for a longer race, you'd have to have a lot of them every half hour. <laughs> oh yeah, you like but put them on here. Is you're sticking before. them here yeah. and you're gonna tape them on and then you're gonna tape the next one over and you're gonna, you're gonna do it in a format so that you can take the top one, rip it off and, and take your gel and then you stick, you can't litter so you just, some people shove it up here, some people just throw it in the back of their thing. And that saves you a lot of time We've learned all this from <laughs> trial and error. And a lot of people are wondering what to do with your spare tire and CO2, or um, a lot of people race in tubulars, which means you don't actually have a tube. There's a, a foam you can buy from any bike store, and what I normally do is I tape it under here. You wanna tape it somewhere where it's not affecting your aerodynamics. Sometimes if you get a flat, you're out of the race if you don't have your spares and stuff, but Generally, if you take care, make sure you have good good tires on, or maybe you only keep a pair for race wheels, which a lot of people do, so you shouldn't hopefully get a, a flat and have to deal with that, because that's something you need to practice. If you haven't changed a tire, that's a whole nother do it. Video. <laughs> so now you've biked, you've come back. Once you've set it up, for the, the run, I already have my shoes ready. You, the best thing to have is the quick kind of laces so that you can just you step your foot in and you put the laces up. I have a question. Um, Do you wear socks? I actually, for the half, will put socks on. For an Olympic distance, I won't. I and another trick is baby powder, putting yeah. baby powder in your shoes. You want to put body glide here around your shoes so that when you go to stick your feet in on your bike shoe as well, you can do it. You want to put your feet in, it's going to slide in because a lot of times this is also just seconds that you're saving in a transition. So you put this body glide here. The reason why I have it in this order again is because you're gonna come in from the bike, your shoes will be there and you're gonna come in, you're gonna mount your bike, your shoe, you leave your shoes on the bike and then you're gonna stick your, your feet in and you have a visor. You're gonna have it set up exactly how you want it but pretty much like this, everything you need for the run, my watch will probably already be on. You wanna like put your feet in, tighten it up, you'll have your glasses on already. Grab anything extra you need your visor, like you'll have this on. And I want, and the whole trick is to run out while you're doing this. Don't do this here, which is it's a running transition. Shoes on, grab everything, start running. You know, sh you shove it all where you need to. You put your visor on. This, this has to be on before you leave the transition if you didn't already have it on. And you just fly from there on. Whew. 
That yeah. is exhausting. And that felt like a race. <laughs> make sure, one other thing is make sure your Garmin's turned on or your whatever device you're using is turned on before you start your race. And thank you, Jenny, again <laughs> for shooting with us and Tired. helping us with all this information that will really, really help everybody on race day. I know I'm just soaking all the information in and I'm excited. Key thing is just to really, for your first one, just have fun with it. And mm -hmm. This stuff will probably all come, but it's good to have a few little tricks under your... Yeah. <laughs> and if you are doing a triathlon, make sure when you check in with your training photos or race day, hashtag TIUTRY, and then make sure to wave at Jenny <laughs> uh, if you're going to Oceanside 70.3. And also follow Jenny at Jen Fletch Try.